Hey out there. Got another video for you. Um, I had kind of an interesting weekend. I uh, went to an estate sale and uh, bought a couple of items. One of which is this all black Hasselblad 503CX. I got it at a pretty good price. I'm going to end up selling it on eBay or something. Make a little money. Last weekend I had actually looked at um, a couple of Hasselblads on Craigslist uh, that a guy was selling and uh, I turned those away but I bought this one and as I was driving away from this estate sale with this camera in the back of the car I was thinking to myself I should do a video on what exactly I looked at that made me turn down uh, the cameras I looked at last week and what made me get excited about this one so that's what this video is about first thing is pretty obvious just give it a once over um, check out the condition of the body of the camera. See if there's any, you know, um, any of the leather ed is peeling, um, paint scraped off, etc. Especially on a black camera like this, the paint will scrape off over time. This isn't because it hurts the way the camera works. It's more like, all right, what's this camera worth? That's what it's about. So um, I looked around at this camera and really was amazed. It's, I think, untouched. I'm, I may have shot the first roll of film through this thing, as far as I know. So once you've satisfied yourself with the way the camera looks, the next thing to do is to just do a basic shutter test. That will help you decide whether or not to go forward with your inspection. So what I'm going to do is make sure the camera is wound. It is. I'm going to set it on a 500th of a second. You set a Hasselblad uh, shutter speed on the lens. I'm going to pull a dark slide out. Well, first off, does the shutter depress the dark slide in? If not, that's a good thing. So we're going to pull the dark slide out and now the uh, camera should fire and that sounds pretty good um, sounds like a 500 at the second to me so the next thing to test really is the slow speeds that's where things go wrong so to test the slow speeds and again I'm just doing this by ear I'm not really looking at anything right now um, you want to hear a buzzing as the shutter goes note that I hold the shutter down the entire time the shutter is buzzing the Hasselblad has two sets of shutters in it, and that's one of the things we're going to inspect. When you're taking a photo, you need to hold that shutter button down the entire length that the front shutter or the lens shutter is open, otherwise you'll cut your exposure short. The shutter sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll uh, try a quarter second. Sounds pretty good. Now the next thing to do is just, again, I'm just looking at the externals and, and feeling the controls and so forth. Does the back seem to wind smoothly? Yes, seems to wind smoothly. That's a good thing. Uh, as you've been winding the camera, you're going to want to check out whether the wind feels smooth. If you've never handled one before, you're not going to really know the difference, but um, if it feels grindy or anything like that, that's something to keep in mind. So everything kind of feels good on the camera. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the uh, back off. And I'm not going to be able to do that with the dark slide out of the camera, so I've got to put the dark slide back in. So now the dark slide's in. I can't depress the shutter, but I can take off the back. What I want to do is check the insert out on the back. And first I'm going to eyeball the um, last three digits here. I'm nearly blind, so I'm going to do it this way. This is 226. The last three digits of the serial number of the back is 226. And I'm going to go ahead and pull the um, the insert out. If you watch my other video on field stripping a Hasselblad, a lot of this stuff will make more sense to you. So I'm going to pull the, the insert out and I'm going to first have a look at the serial number here and it is 226. That's a good thing. The back serial number matches the insert serial number or the shell matches the insert. Hasselblad engineers these things to uh, very tight tolerances and they feel like it's really important for you to have a matching back in the insert because they are actually manufactured together. So that's a good sign. The other thing to look at is just is the film plate, uh, the pressure plate, does it have scratches on it? Um, do the rollers roll freely? Does it look good? I mean, has it got rust, corrosion, whatever? This one looks like new. It's pretty incredible. Okay, having taken the back off, now we can actually check out how the rear shutters are working. These are the shutters in the body. One thing to look at is the um, sort of the finish of them. They have some felt type of material on them and that should look clean. The doors should be shut when you take the back off the camera. 
and these are tightly shut so that's a good thing since the back is off the camera I can fire the shutter whenever I want whether the dark slides in or not because the interlock is in the back so let's have a look sweet I got to see it now it's your turn what we're looking for is really snappy performance on this we want to see them snap open completely open and then snap back shut completely shut all right I'm going to go ahead and remove the prism. It's going to make the camera a little bit easier to handle. So that just slides right out. Okay, one thing we need to test while we've got the camera half apart like this is what I would call a light through test. We want to make sure that everything works uh, from the lens through um, the back. And we want to test that the aperture shuts down properly. And that, you know, for example, bulb works, etc., etc. So I've got the camera cocked. And what I'm going to do now is choose the smallest aperture. And I've got a light source here. I'm going to hold the camera up to the light source. I've got the shutter on bulb. And I'm going to open the shutter. And make sure that I see light coming through the front of the lens and that the aperture is as small as possible. Okay. Now I'm going to change the aperture a bit. Wind again. looks good. So the point of that is to make sure that your front shutter and the lens is working. The aperture is actually shutting down when it needs to and that again the rear shutters are opening. Now I'm going to actually take the lens off and have a closer look at the body itself. To take the lens off again you push this button. Let's make sure it's wound. Always make sure they're wound. Take the lens off. Alright what we see in here is the mirror. We should see the mirror flip up when we press the shutter. So we're wound. Mirror is up. The rear shutters are open. Having done that, we can feel pretty solid about this camera. So what I'm going to do is put it back together. And have a look through it. So what we're looking for here is um, just whether you can focus the camera or not. If you see dust and so forth in there that's really no big deal. If you see discolorations that's a little more of a big deal if you uh, have to replace the screen that can be fairly expensive. Um, if you see sort of any major scratches and so forth you may want to take the lens off and check the mirror and make sure the mirror isn't scratched. Okay. So one final thing you could look at, I kind of left this out before, is actually checking out the lens itself. So I'm going to take it off the camera to do that. Basically I'm going to hold the lens up to a light source and see if you see any stuff growing around the edges or if you see any sort of cloudiness or haziness. If you do, that's kind of a bad sign. You might want to um, think twice about investing in this camera. You can have the lens cleaned out, but it's not inexpensive. It's probably better to just look for another one. If you see dust, it's really not that big a deal. I wouldn't worry about it too much. So this looks good. Uh, even if there is a little dust, even if there's a little mar or two on the front element, generally that stuff doesn't show in photos. So don't get too crazy about it. It's mostly haze and fungus you want to worry about in a lens. So. Uh, Seems like this thing checks out. I think I'm going to buy it. Okay, well, I hope that this video is useful to you. Um, if nothing else, it helps you understand Hasselblad cameras a bit better. And if you uh, go look at a used one, maybe you'll feel a little more confident about what you should be looking for. Now, there's no guarantee in this business. You buy a camera and all that stuff works out. Um, the thing, you know, the shutter could break the next day, unfortunately. With that said, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on photography. Talk to you later.